In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. For the last few years, people approach me and ask me, Father, are these the signs of sickness and corona and war? Are these are the end of time? This is a very difficult question to answer for a simple priest. But I will share with you what does the church believe and what the Orthodox Church believe. Well, we know the coronavirus have demoralized the world. Fear and instability. Today we are witnessing two great power, Orthodox Christian fighting a battle with each other. Cause destruction of cities, millions of people are refugees and displaced. Yes, but I wish to remind you that our people and our church have witnessed war for so many years. Why do you think all the immigrants in America from the Middle East? It's because of war. Our people witness Palestinian-Israeli war conflict, war in Lebanon, in Syria, in Iraq, in Libya, in Yemen, and with all denomination in America, you hear people explaining why these things are happening. Why are these prophecies and biblical prophecies are happening? I recall vividly when the war in Iraq began, you will see street sign that says it's the Armageddon, the war of Armageddon. So people bought a lot of book and wasted their time and they tried to predict when is the end of the world. My dearly beloved, we as Orthodox Christians must ask ourselves how do we address and explain a human tragedy in relationship to the Bible. Our merciful God is not in the business of creating war. Our merciful God came to this world to save the world. It is sinful people, men and women, who created war, nation against nation, with personal interest. It is their sin that caused the war. In this morning gospel and in reading, we heard St. Paul says, You, O Lord, let the foundation of the earth in the beginning. And Tayarab fil Badi as Sastal Ard was Sama wa kullaha sunu yadaik. Yes. As Orthodox Christian, all prophecy of the Old Testament came in time and it's done by the birth of Christ. Once Christ was born, all prophecy has been fulfilled except one, his second coming. His second coming. The prayer of the church tells us that God so loved the world 
that he sent his son Jesus to save the world. He loved the world. And we hear, Oh Lord, how great is your work. In wisdom, you have made them all. Bless the Lord, O my soul. My dearly beloved, you have to close your ear to false prophet. Jesus said, if anyone say, you look, Christ is here and there, don't believe them. For false Christ and false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonder to deceive you, to deceive you. O oh Lord, in the beginning you did create the foundation of the earth and the heaven is the work of your hand. My dearly beloved, Every time you hear the call with the fear of God and faith, draw near. What does that mean to draw near? Why? When we draw near to see Christ face to face and to sit at his last supper and his body and blood lives in us. Jesus himself reminds us, as often as you eat this bread and drink of this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he come. Till he come. In all our prayer and meditation, we live as Christ will come at any moment, at any moment to judge the world. The church teaches us and continue to have a fundamental teaching on the fullness and return of the Lord. What do we say when we say the Lord's Prayer? Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. In a few minutes, we will recite the creed and says, all of us, I believe in the resurrection of the dead and the world to come. My dearly beloved, one hymn during the Holy Week, the church remind us that Jesus is the bridegroom and he will come in the midst of the night and he will bless those who are watchful and awake. My dearly beloved, we will continue to hear <coughs> about great tribulation and war, but we are to remain vigilant and faithful, not predicting, waiting, and interpreting the prophecies about the end of time. The disciple asked Jesus, when is the end of time? He said, nobody knows. And don't be anxious about it. Just be watchful. He assured us, that if we remain faithful, prayerful, and in his church, our Lord will be with us every day until the end of time. So what the scripture says and what I like to tell you, finally, my brother and sister, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on you the armor of God. 
that you may be able to stand against the wills of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the principality, against the power, the ruler of the, this dark age. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, 